Hello everyone and welcome back for more Mortal Shell. Um, I'm actually right after I ended the last recording. The only thing I did between the two one, the two recordings, is I used a couple of my tar items to get enough tar to get recollection of death, meaning regain less chance upon defeating enough foes, which should help, I think. I still reach for her in the middle of a cold. There is only the echo of her left. I see her outline. I can hear her voice rattling in my skull. I haven't tasted tar in days. She urges me to return to that damned shrine. Will they welcome a lost pupil back? Oh, so you're getting... Withdrawal symptoms of tar. That doesn't sound good. Anyway, let's go up and decide where to go. Yeah, I was about to say, remember, the teleporter should bring me back where I want to go. I completely missed this glimpse the first time. I wonder if the thing is you have to go to those two. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I reset. actually easier to deal with them when you're coming out of the teleporter because the aggro is easier to manage so let's draw one at a time except maybe hers the bow enemy crossbow enemy hidden behind the, this Maybe we can ninja this. Yes, we can. That's good. So, come on, lady. One, two. Oh. Overconfident. Got overconfident and paid for it. Still nothing too bad. Hmm. Oh yeah, I recognize that place. So I'm going to guess there are some mechanisms I have to activate on all sides of this to go forward. So let's go center first and see what's going on. But first, to properly... Okay, so... I've drawn you. Now I can fight you. I was about to say, I heard again armor noises. As, no, it was that guy dying. So, what's the deal with that? Wait. I want to see what I'm dealing with. Because I can see a guy very far, they're still standing, so there is a path forward. Really? Activate both? How?
that was embarrassing. Uh, let's go back and attack that crossbow girl from the back. Because I don't want her to shoot me while I'm fighting the hammer guy. Also, wow, thank god our I now know there's... I didn't see them before. Good to know. Truly, this is the soul's experience. My ears are whistling. This is super uncomfortable. I can't believe I didn't die there. That was so close to a death. Oh, that's super useful. Okay. Activated him. Let's go back here where... I'm not as afraid of falling into the giant hole. Okay. I'm really sad that I don't have any more healing items, but... I think I can be careful enough that it won't matter. Wait, don't I have a rooster, right? No, that helps for stamina. Oh, I also have... Yeah, I was about to say, I can hear the voice of one of these girls, but much closer than that one, and I couldn't see her. Oh, and there's also one here behind, and another one. Look at how they're using the terrain to their advantage. What a bunch of smart gals. But no crossbow lady, right? No. That's okay. I don't know if going this way is good because there's no path to retreat. The same thing for dropping. But if it's two at a time... It's still okay. Okay, done. When they aren't covered by their crossbow wielding sisters, they're not as dangerous. I, I don't think I ever died yet to this any kind of type of enemy type. I've died to the crossbow, I got I've died to the hammer guys, I've died to the sword and the portal arm guys. I don't think I've ever died to the rapier ladies. Oh, this is an annoying setup. Again, I miss the ability to have ranged attacks. Okay, so this is good. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you are going to walk back a bit. Because... I don't like how... Oh, come on, follow me. <coughs> Again, apologies for that. Okay. Oh wait, there's also a way down here. But wait, before that, I remember, yeah, there was an item. Here, what the bow crossbow girl was. More tar. Not as interesting, but still useful. Okay, there's multiple ways. I see an item down there. I feel like the way up is the actual way to go. So let's go down first. I'm expecting an ambush. Right behind that corner. No. That's surprising. Hmm. Like you could have hit an, an enemy here. But okay. So let's go up then. Which makes me wonder if those two extra areas are just for extra items. I not like a thought for activating necessary mechanisms to proceed. Sword lady and in the back crossbow lady. What I'm afraid that in there there's more behind there. And I don't want, don't want to walk back and take the other way. Too much effort. Oh, activate it. So, let's hope. Oh, I knew it. I was quicker, thankfully. Oh yes, mushrooms, that's good. Apologies for a second. I'm gonna blow my nose. <laughs> and hopefully my controller stops just going forward. I don't know, I would I would have screamed if I had died there for some reason. With this being a souls like, this doesn't pause the game. And I don't think even the inventory actually does. Maybe, I'm not sure. So, crossbow lady and sword lady. An item there. That's kind of in a perilous position, so I'm going to get it after I kill them. That looks like the end of the area, actually. So let me go back and see if I can get that item safely. It appears so. 
I don't trust the fall from this side. Uh, but come on. Not worth it, but okay. Enemies, come on, enemies. No one. Oh, there's a hammer guy there. Items. Maybe back that way, you know, I don't see anything. Is that something else on the side? I can tell from this distance if those are just rocks. Yeah, those are just rocks. I thought there was some kind of a new enemy. I don't know why you turned your back, but thank you for doing it. Shifting archives. Oh no, don't tell me there's gonna be more platforming here. With each sacrament, we deepen our doubts. Refuse the comfort of conviction, brethren. Close your eyes to, uh, to the sed seduction of reason. There is no comprehending our inscrutable gods. We barely know ourselves. Tell me, what fool would believe he would, could comprehend the revered? Item? Birds nesting inside a child's cumbering skull. That's a very nice image. Two rows of teeth become one. Elusive shapes dance endlessly in retinas. A hard shelled parasite eats the kernel of a rose and takes its place. Unbearable pain drags those who, fell, who feel it into darkness. Polished porcelain bowls defiled with specks of blood and bile. A worm splits asunder becomes something new. Wow, such wisdom. I think this is the way to the item, maybe? No way. Oh, whatever. Oh, look at that. I'm going to slalom through these columns. That looks like the boss drink. But then, then where's the sester? She should be here to give me my proper checkpoint, right? I don't see you. Where are you, Sester? I'm not touching that drink until I see her. I can save my checkpoint and my progress. Is 
Because that's the boss drink, right? She should be right before the boss drink. The stone breathes. It lives. Yes, look close. The obsidian rides and squirms. It is not a seamless stone, but a complex of worms, black as oil, threaded together in a great wriggling mass. Another comforting image. Okay, so maybe I just... I'm just being dumb and I can't see her? It can't be that she isn't here. She has to be. Oh. I did not notice you. Once I was in awe of the knowledge contained here. But it was a fool's errand to try to catalog the contents of this library. The devout keep searching, endlessly hunting for a revelation. Even as they're surrounded by madness, keep your eyes ahead, family. Do not stray among the teetering stacks. You'll only delay the inevitable. Okay, so after hearing that and thinking, wow, this Shifting Archives really does not live up to its name. It probably, there, I'm going to guess that there's some concept art of this area that looks way more impressive than this. But they couldn't put it in the game. They couldn't figure out how to do it. So I don't think there's any way anyone is getting lost here. But anyways, I think this is another good place to cut off. Uh, I'll see you again next time where we fight the boss of this area. And I'm going to guess it's the next to last boss of the game. Because after this, we're going to go back to the prisoner, give him the last gland, and most likely fight him. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Taglia qui. Okay then, so let's go and see who's the boss here. I'm going to guess that like it's going to be the gland is going to be inside this giant skull. Ooh, oh yeah, I can see the mass I'm going to rip out there. I can't believe I didn't see the giant cester there. What? 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 What's going on? This is the boss of this area? Ooh, cool shield. Ooh, I like this. Oh. That's super weird. Crucix the Twice Born. So far is way easier than Tarsus.
a bit of overkill, most likely. Oh no, my little self is dead. I'm going to be angry now. This camera is making me dizzy. What's with this camera? Instant death. That's nice. Well, at least now I won't be surprised anymore but by the jump. Even hardening doesn't help. Uh, let's see. Let's skip. Oh, I can't believe he missed me. was a bad attempt but again even though I've died twice to him it doesn't feel as hard as say Tarsus. Tarsus was so far the hardest boss in the game for me at least. I've kept your flesh safe thou name. Thank you. Uh, like maybe the only harder boss was Harden, the guy that hardens, you know, like you, at the very beginning of the game during the tutorial. That was the only other fight that felt just as hard as Tarsus. And the thing is, you can't even say that the difference between, for example, Tarsus and Imrod was I wasn't as upgraded for the Imrod fight as I am now for Tarsus. As I was for Tarsus, but between here and Tarsus, I was already max upgraded. Nothing changed. It's not like I got better. Oh, I didn't notice that actually worked. That was a waste. A definite waste. But still, I'm, I'm getting to know him. We're getting to know each other. It's still fine. Oh wow, he's very angry over the death of his mini-me. Who's also him. I've kept your flesh safe, thou name. You know, I, I'm, I have the feeling that the reason they do the fall to loss of second chance is because otherwise this will be the easiest boss in the game most likely if you had the second chance while fighting him and I'm not going to test using the diapason here for him actually I wonder how uh, shellless run interacts with this boss mechanic. I don't know what else to call it if not a boss mechanic. Oh, that was uh 
mistake. Yeah, that was a bad run from the start, but it's still okay. I just regret wasting those two mortal tokens. Because I didn't realize the first one had actually worked and healed me. Skip. Uh, it doesn't let me skip it because there's the fall. And frankly, I don't want to use the diapason unless I manage to get to the second phase with mostly my health intact. I died even just to the arrows. Okay. Incredibly, my first two attempts so far have been the best. Everything else after has been slightly worse. You can't skip this because there's the trick. Even though you should be because it's only going to be a trick the first time. Yeah, he's actually get considerably harder to hit in his second phase. Even though he's, he drops his shield because the little guy is dead. What? How? What was different? Why do I have the second chance? Okay, this is going incredibly well and I don't want to jinx it. The game bugged out and gave me a second chance when it shouldn't have. well now just I have to actually learn the moves of the second phase oh, I was out of stamina
he also has a lot more health in this phase than he did in the first one because I'm not doing as much damage. Or maybe just his defenses have gone up. See, I just do piecemeal. But we're doing it. I didn't mean to parry, but I'll take it. This is the one. Again. Stab. One, two. Kick. One, two. Away. This is a new move. because I even have my second chance and I didn't actually use it so I didn't cheat it doesn't count since I didn't take advantage of the bug <laughs> that gave me the second chance here this is a legitimate win oh wow You look even worse than I thought. Ugh, that's disgusting. Knotted gland. Ooh, I hate that word. Knotted. Oh, this one just flashes. Okay. Well then, do you have anything to say? Yes, you've done it. The sacred gland is yours. Perhaps it was always yours. If you manage to extract the true nectar, be wary. Sip slowly. I remember a heretic who drank deeply. He took what wasn't his and gulped it down greedily. He was unrecognizable afterward. Another man entirely. This was his reward and his penance. Oops, apologies for that. I th hit the mic. Well then, this is another good place to cut. And having beat the, the boss, we're just going to run back to... The prisoner give him the last gland and most likely have the final boss again thank you for watching and i'll see you the next time once again i believe i'm going to cut the run back to fulgrim tower mostly because it's mostly the same areas and even if the, with the enemies remixed there's nothing really new to see so once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one which may or may not be the last couple of videos see ya